सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणी कृणा नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेदी विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तिहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहनौन सह वीरकवाहे तेजस्वीतमस्तमा विदिशावही ओं शांत शांत शांति ब्रह्मादिपूर्वेदा कृणोति तस्म तुम हेमात्म बुद्धि प्रकाश ओं क्षुर वै शरणमहम प्रपद्ये ओं शांत शांत शांति आमनायांति संसिध्यांतवर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिरुपास्मे the next uh, sutra is introduced <coughs> by bhagwan sadashivam mindras purvam udgitatva visheshanat omkarasya sarva veda vyapti vyavrutti vat evam vidwan iti prakruta guna matra grahakai evam shabdat shakhantara guna vyavrutti hi iti drishtanta sangatya idam ah what was done earlier by the siddhanti says the pura pakshi this omkara is present through and through the vedas in all shakhas and therefore when we said this omiti et omiti etar aksharam udgitam upasita we said that or rather you the siddhanti said that it is a visheshana vishesh bhava whereby a particular omkara of the gudhita is separated from this omkara which is all pervasive in the vedas and thereby udgitatva visheshana the udgita became the visheshana to omkara to separate it from sarva veda vyapti or vyapta sarva veda vyapta omkara thereby what has happened this visheshana has separated it out avrutti vat you have separated the omkara from all other omkaras in the veda sarvavyada sarvaveda vyapti vyavrutti not avrutti vyavrutti so vyavrutti vyavrutti of the omkara which is in in and through all veda shakhas that omkara is vyavrutta is set aside and which omkara has to be taken the udgita omkara udgita antargata omkara because udgita is a visheshana now udgitatva visheshana that becomes a hetu and thereby now we have an example of the process that you have used elsewhere says the puro pakshi evam vidwan iti vat vyavrutti vat just like the separation of the meaning setting aside of the omkara which is all pervasive in the vedas only a specific omkara has been brought out udgitatva vishesh vishishta udgitatva vishishta omkara is taken here in upasana in the earlier adhikarana this is the process now we will follow the same process we will apply the same methodology where evam vidwan iti prakruta guna matra grahaka evam shabdat एवं शब्द इज देर एवं विद्वान इट इज सीन एज एवं विद्वान इन दिस मैनर विद्वान इन विच मैनर इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर मैनर दैट पर्टिक्युलर मैनर इज द मैनर डिस्क्राइब इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर शाखा ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर वेद सो यू कैनॉट से दैट दिस उपासना वेर एवं शब्द इज देर एंड विद्वान देर मीन्स दिस विद्वान इज वन हू नोज दिस उपासना vidya thereby he should do this upasana <coughs> and therefore upasana described in the section where evam vidwan vakya is there that cannot be clubbed together with any other why because this evam shows the manner which is a visheshana and that manner is described only in that particular shakha so in whichever shakha this evam vidwan is mentioned only in that swa shakha 
the upasana is valid the gunas described in those that upasana should not be used and it should not be considered as together with any other shakha so you need not export this upasana guna to other shakhas and nor should you import the gunas from other shakhas into this upasana in your swa shakha why because the same methodology is being used by me as you the siddhanti as you says the purva pakshi so evam vidwan evam is evam becomes a visheshana now and thereby it will set aside all the other gunas of the other shakhas of that particular upasana it's a different upasana thereby what is the prakruta guna matra grahaka evam shabda this evam shabda is grasping is grahaka of only the prakruta guna matra only the gunas or the rupa discussed in that particular shakha because evam means in this manner this is in this manner means evam means only what is prakruta and thereby it will separate out gunas of the other shakha antargata upasanas एवं शब्दा प्रकृत गुण मात्र ग्राहक एवं शब्दा शाखातर गुण व्यावृत्ति ऑल दि गुण इन अनदर शाखा शाखातर इज अन्या शाखा सो अन्या शाखा अयाम और अन्यासु शाखासु इन डिफरेंट शाखा वॉट एवर सिमिलर उपासना इज डिस्कस दो गुण शुड नॉट बी ब्रॉट हियर दे आर व्यावृत्त इति दृष्टांत संगत सो यूज यूज इन एक्सापल सो फॉर एक्सापल in this case also a similar methodology as what has been used by the siddhanti can be used says the purva pakshi and there by the sarva uh, there is a typo here it should be sarva abheda sarva abheda adikaranam sarva abheda adikaranam that is the name of the adikarana it should not be bhe it should be bhe there is a typo here i forgot to export the pdf i have corrected this typo The first sutra there is sarva bheda anyatre me sarva bheda anyatre me so sarva bheda sarva abheda anyatra ime ime guna ha these gunas I have not underlined also because uh, I have not exported the uh, PDF and I was late to the patha today so I couldn't do that in the morning as well so guna उपसंहार शुड बी डन और गुण अनुपसंहार मीनिंग गुण उपसंहार शुड नॉट बी डन पूर्व पक्षी से गुण अनुपसंहार गुण के नॉट बी क्लब टूगेदर अक्रॉस शाखा इन दिस उपासना वेर एवं विद्वान हैज बीन मेंशन सो इट इट ग्राफ ओनली द गुण ऑफ द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द शाखा ओनली दैट पर्टिक्युलर शाखा अंतर्गत उपासना हैज दीज गुण दे शुड नॉट बी सेंट आउट टू अदर शाखाज ऑल्सो But the Siddhanti says what? Siddhanti says, "He may guna ha. Which are the gunas there? There, vasishta tuadi greatness is described there. So vasishta tuadi gunas. He may guna ha. Anyatra. Anyatra means anyasu shakasu. In the same upasana. This actually even with one occurs in the context of the prana upasana. There is a prana samvada and then there is prana vidya, prana upasana." This prana upasana across shakhas is one and the same because the prana samvada is same, but then purva pakshi had brought up something with the prana samvada, but he had started there. He had not um, used the context of the udgita upasana. Here it is not an udgita upasana; it is a prana vidya, prana upasana. So prana samvada. Takes place in multiple shakhas where the prana vidya, prana upasana is same, but udhita upasana are different because we have seen prana seen as udhita itself and prana seen as udhita gana karta. They are two different upasana, but when prana is to be upasya and particular way it is described as prana is uh, great. That kind of an upasana, which is part of the prana samvada, that upasana is one and the same across shakhas. But once you come out of that prana samvada into other upasana, where udgita gana karta is prana, or elsewhere udgita itself is prana, then those udgita upasanas are different. They are not prana vidyas anymore. They are udgita vidyas, and they are separate across shakhas. But prana vidya is same. Therefore. 
सर्व अभेदा सर्वासु शाखासु अभेदा अभेदा कस्य अभेदा अभेदा अभिन्नत्वा प्राण विद्या अभिन्नत्वा अभेदा बिकॉज प्राण विद्या इज वन एंड सेम अक्रॉस शाखा उद्गीत विद्या कैन बी डिफरेंट बट प्राण विद्या इज वन एंड सेम एंड रीजनिंग विल बी गिवेन दिस इज द रीजन फॉर वॉट अन्यत्र इमे गुणा उपसंहर्तव्या दी उपसंहार हेज टू बी डन अक्रॉस दी शाखा एंड गुणा शुड बी क्लब टूगेदर फ्रॉम अदर शाखा फॉर स्वशाखा उपासना ऑफ प्राण विद्या दिस इज दूत्रार्थ अत्र पूर्वपक्षे गुणापसंहार सो गुण अनुपसंहार गुणा अनुपसंहार से पूर्वपक्षी यू शुड नॉट क्लब टूगेदर गुणा फ्रॉम डिफरेंट शाखा इन प्राण विद्या सिद्धांत उपसंहार फलभेद सो इन सिद्धांत गुण उपसंहार गुण शुड बी क्लब टूगेदर फ्रॉम वेरियस शाखा स्व प्राण विद्या अत्र वाजसनेयके छांदोग्ये च प्राण विद्यायां वागादयः वसिष्ठत्वादि गुणाः श्रूयन्ते सो वागादयः ति इंद्रियास दे आर ग्रेट रियली प्राण इज ग्रेट बट इन वाजसने शाखा दि बृहत् शाखा एंड छांदोग्य आल्सो प्राण विद्या इज इज हैविंग दिस उपासना गुण एज व्हाट वागादय हैव दीस गुणस वसिष्ठत्वादि गुण वसिष्ठ इज मींस ग्रेट so these and there are several other guna gunas are also there so shruyante they are heard na kaushitakyaadi shakhasu however if kaushitaki shakha and other similar shakhas uh, not similar other shakhas this vasishtatva guna and some other gunas which are discussed in chandogya and bruha they are not heard there therefore what तत्र तत्र किं वसिष्ठत्वादि अन्यत्र अन्यत्र उपसंह्रियंते उत उपसंह्रियंते इति संदेह व्हेन देयर इज अ डाउट एज टू वेदर यू शुड क्लब दी गुणास टुगेदर और यू शुड नॉट क्लब दी गुणास टुगेदर उपसंहार शुड बी डन और नॉट विच ऑफ विच गुणा वसिष्ठत्वादि गुणा सिद्धांत सो देर पूर्व पक्षी से उपसंहर्तव्या पूर्व पक्ष गुणा न उपसंहर्तव्या दे शुड नॉट बी क्लब टूगेदर दीज वसिष्ठत्वादि गुणा वागादी शुड नॉट बी सीन एज वसिष्ठ विथ वसिष्ठ गुण वसिष्ठत्व गुण इन अदर शाखा इन वाजसने के एंड छांदो के यू शुड डू दी उपासना एज डिस्कस वाई एवं विद्वान हैज बीन मेन्शन देर नाव इन दी कौशित की इत्यादि शाखा वेर देर आर There is no mention of vasishtatvaadi gunas for vagaadi prana in the prana vidya. There you should not bring these gunas. It is pure of paksha. The pure of paksha says there is no clubbing of the gunas possible here. There are two different upasanas in chandogya and vajasaneka. It is one, but in kaushita ki ityadi they are different. Siddhanta stu. Siddhanti says anyatra vasishtatvaadi guna na ashravana sthale ime. वसिष्ठत्वाद गुण उपसंहर्तव्य इमे इज दि मूल सो इमे दीज दीज गुण वसिष्ठत्वाद गुण उपसंहर्तव्य दे शुड बी क्लब टूगेदर दे शुड बी कन्सिडर्ड एज अ सिंगल उपासना वेर अन्यत्र अन्यत्र इज ऑलसो फ्रॉम दि मूल अन्यत्र मीनिंग एलस्वेर इन अदर शाखा वेर विच शाखा वेर वसिष्ठत्वाद गुण आर् नॉट हर्ड अश्रवण स्थले Where these gunas are not heard in the shaka, there these vasishtatvaadi gunas should be brought together from chandogya and vajasaniya shaka. Kasmat, due to what reason do you make such claim? As the puro bhakti to that the siddhanti answer sarva bhedaat. This is mula. Sarva bhedaat is a hetu. Sarvasu shaka su abhedaat. प्राण अभेद ऑफ व्हाट अभिन्नत्व ऑफ व्हाट प्राण संवाद स्थाया प्राण विद्याया अभिन्नवा दि प्राण विद्या विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्राण संवाद नॉट आउटसाइड ऑफ प्राण संवाद देर दीज वसिष्ठत्वादि गुणाज आर डिस्कस्ड एज पार्ट ऑफ छांदोग्य एंड वाजसनेक शाखा बट दे आर नॉट डिस्कस्ड इन प्राण संवाद इन कौशित की इत्यादि शाखा बट प्राण संवाद इज सेम अदर गुणाज आर कॉमन सो देर 
ಪ್ರಾಣ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಸಂವಾದ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯ ದೇವತಾ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫಲ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಹೇತುಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ವೆದರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ವೆದರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಉಪಾಸನ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಉಪಾಸನ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸಮ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಶಾಖ ಅತಃ ಇವ ಪ್ರಕೃತ ಗುಣಾಂ ಇವ ಅಪ್ರಕೃತ ಗುಣಾಂ ಅಪಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ಥ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ಥತಾಯ ಸಾರಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ಥಯ ಅತ ಇವ ಪ್ರಕೃತ ಗುಣಾಂ ಪ್ರಕೃತ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಶಾಖ ಸ್ವಶಾಖ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ರಕೃತ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಶಾಖಾಸ್ ಸೊ ತಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ಥತೆಯ ಶಬ್ದ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಣ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಸಂವಾದ ಅದರ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ದಿ ನೇಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ವೃತ್ತಿ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೋಯಂ ದೇವದತ್ತ ಓ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಉಪಾಸನ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಥಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠತ್ವ ಆದಿ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಭಿಜ್ಞ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಉಪಾಸನ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಶಾಖ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೈ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ಥತೆಯ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಭಿಜ್ಞ ದಿ ಅನ್ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ವಶಾಖಾಸ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ವೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಶಾಖಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೈ ಏವಂ ಶಬ್ದ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏವಂ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಏವಂ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠತ್ವಾದಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೋನ್ ಶಾಖ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಓ ದಿ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದಿ ಉಪಾಸನ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಓ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠತ್ವಾದಿ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಉಪಾಸನ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೈಂಡ್ ಯು ಬೆಟರ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಸಿಮಿಲಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಉಪಾಸನ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲಿ ದೋಸ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಗಾದಿ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ನಾಟ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಲಾಜಿಕಲಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಸಂವಾದ ಸ್ಥಾಯ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಸಾರಿ ಏವಂ ಶಬ್ದ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯತ್ವ ಸರ್ವೇ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಉಪಸಂವರ್ತವ್ಯ ಇತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಶಾಖ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಅದರ್ ಶಾಖೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ from you evam that evam shabda in this manner in this manner not only in this manner in that manner also where others have added some gunas in their shakha it is siddham this is established as to the chandogya antargata vajasaneka antargata and kaushitikyaadi shakha antargata prana vidya is one and the same vidya and guna upasamara has to be done so it's a single sutra adhikarana the next ananda adhyadikarana comes up with an introduction in the vrittiya nanu pranasya savisheshatvad bhavatu shakantariya vasishtatvad yupasamahara puro pakshi says okay let it be tathasu let it be so as to prana vidya being same why savisheshatvad because prana has these visheshana which are seen savisheshatvad ಭವತು ಶಾಖಾಂತರೆ ವಸಿಷ್ಠತ್ವಾದಿ 
Prana can have many gunas. For example, uh, mother looks at a child in a different manner. Father looks at the child in a different manner. There is some common set of gunas also. If the child is brilliant, then the mother and father both are looking at the child as brilliant. Let's say the child is good in sports, then the father is looking at the sports angle. And mother is looking at some artistic features of the child and says that my child is an artist or has the artistic features, so looks at the beauty, etc. Just an example. However, when you look at the child from the angle of a neutral observer, what the mother is saying, that is also right. The father is saying that is also right. Common set of features are also right. So the common gunas which are acceptable to all, along with that, specific gunas which have been seen by the mother and specific gunas which are seen by the father can be seen by others as being in the child. Why? Why only limited to that? His friends see something else which is not known to the parents. He is mischievous at school, which parents do not know. So those gunas are seen by others. This child can take limitless gunas as though. There is no need to say that only these many gunas should be there. <coughs> Similarly, prana vidya, prana devata being savishesha, like the child can take many dharmas, many gunas. However, nirvishesha, nirguna brahma cannot take gunas. Limitlessly you can keep, from one shaka you bring something, from another shaka, some other gunas. It is nirguna. Then what is the description of Brahma in Swashakha? Somewhere there are dharmas discussed. These are defining attributes, not visheshanas. They are not visheshanas. They are not to separate out Brahma from another, another Brahma. When you have particular vidya, for Omkara we have seen this. Omkara being common, which Omkara is Upasya, when that kind of Akamsha comes up, that kind of an Akamsha comes up, then Visheshana has to be added. Visheshana is what? Visheshana is that which separates out something from the other of the same set, same species. It is not a defining attribute. When you say lily, then the definition of lily is different. From what? When you say blue lily or red lily. So red lily or blue lily, when you say neel, neelotpalam, neelam utpalam, neelam becomes a visheshana to utpala among many lilies which have a common definition, defining attributes, dharmas, we'll call them as dharmas. Visheshana is neelam. So that will separate it out from all the lilies which have a same definition, this kind of a fall, chandrika, that which blooms at night. Lotus blooms in the morning with sunrise, but lily blooms at night. This is what I remember, it is a chandrika. That's why this uh, Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi, Kumuda. Kumuda, Kaumudi, the Kumuda is a lily, so it is that which blooms at night. It is a chandrika, it needs moonlight. So the lily which is blooming at night, that flower which blooms at night is a sadhana, let's say you make a definition like that. Oh, you, do you know that flower which, you know, it blooms at night, a lily. So you define that. Now having defined it so, the defining attributes are, say chandrika, it is a chandrika. It needs chandra prakasha, that kind of a lily. If you have made a definition, then it is common across all lilies. Now, when you want to say that, okay, I prefer a particular blue colored lily, then you will add a visheshana neelam utpalam, natu raktam. So that utpala has to be neela now. So among all the chandrikas of lilies, which are lilies, this neela blue is separating that out. Similarly, in the upasana, omkara upasana, out of all the omkaras, Defined in a particular manner that Omkara, Akara, Ukara, Makara is that which makes Omkara, which is Pluta, Okara is Pluta, Om, that Omkara, 
which home car out of those is upasya there we say this udgita antargata sama mantra antargata udgita antargata omkara there you have added the upasana as udgitatva becomes the visheshana there like the nilatva in the utpala becomes the visheshana so visheshana is to separate out something from the same species now if you want brahma to have particular visheshana then there should be other brahmas at least two brahma should be there then only you can have add a visheshana and say okay this sad brahma i want ananda brahma i want chid brahma i want not the other achit asat or anananda brahma that is not possible why because there is only single brahma so when there is a single brahma there can be only dharmas which are defining attributes not separating differentiating attributes so visheshanas are differentiating attributes which can be many just like the kid can have the child can have many attributes gunas similarly this omkara can have many attributes to separate out differentiating attributes utpala can have differentiating attributes prana can have differentiating attributes vasishtatvaadi gunas multiple gunas can be there they can be differentiating and when you see some differentiating and some others which are not present you can bring those also and then instead of differentiating you can club together when you keep on adding all visheshanas visheshanas become common therefore you say that oh it is the same one this is also neela that is also neela so utpala is same it's a blue lily so you can club them together as well you can differentiate as well so visheshana becomes a qualifier in brahma you cannot have qualifying differentiating gunas so what do you have you have dharmas which are defining attributes they are not differentiating attributes they are defining attributes so when you have a mantra satchidananda brahma satyam jnanam anantam brahma these sat chit and ananda or satyam jnanam anantam are not differentiating attributes they are differentiating one species from the others that is what the definition is definition is to differentiate a particular class when you say gotwa what is gotwa go ka nama gau what is a cow so you define something as a cow when you define the cow then you are differentiating that cow species from the other species you are not differentiating one among the same species you are differentiating a species from the other species a class from another class in brahma there is no other class, there is no other brahma so it is not separating one brahma from the other so there is no visheshana then what is it it is defining attribute which defines a particular single entity which is in the class it is a single member brahma is a single member class which is separated from every other class that is what the definition is defining attributes are so sat chit ananda tells you it is that which is sat meaning it is not asat it is chit meaning it is not achit it, it is not jada and it is ananda or ananta which means it is not parichinna it is not limited or it is not dukha swarupa it is sukha swarupa that is brahma so this is how you define it now purva pakshi says brahma is nirvishesha so brahman astu nirvisheshatva so shakha gata dharma ireva these dharma which are defining attributes for brahma pramiti siddhe he through that itself there will be pramiti siddhi you will know it is a defining attribute so what is brahma in your shakha you see sat chit ananda as brahma sat and chit are same satya and chaitanya have the same meaning so satyam jnanam jnanam means chaitanya satyam jnanam anantam brahma so let's say you do not know jnanam means chaitanya so jnana is different but sat sadeva satyam satyam and sat have same meaning so you can say okay sat and satya across shakhas have same meaning that is one dharma but jnana and chit are two different dharmas across two shakhas and ananta and ananda are two different dharmas across two different shakhas there should you do upasamhara of the gunas or not purva pakshi says that brahmanasu nirvisheshatvat swashakhagat dharma ireva in your shakha if it say satchidananda brahma then you stick with that why because brahma has already been defined in your shakha you do not have any akanksha any more why because there are no gunas to think about 
you cannot say what else does my child have what other guna can i look at my child has is he good in sports is he good in which kind of a sport all that uh, in in a particular kind of sport you cannot have such kind of akanksha here because akanksha is shanta now why pramiti siddhe the brahma is already known now as what sat chit ananda brahma there is no more akanksha and you cannot have an akanksha because there are no attributes which are differentiators what else brahma is is there is no such akanksha it has already been defined so pramiti siddhe he na shakhantar gata ananda adi upasamahara iti pratyudharana sangatya idam so there is a flip example here i use satchirananda so uh, you use the satyam jnanam anantam brahma in taitriya shakha so in taitriya shakha pramiti siddhi has taken place you know what is brahma brahma is satyam jnanam anantam then therefore na shakhantar gata अनदर शाखा से दट सत्यम ज्ञान अनंत सच्चिद आनंद ब्रह्म दट आनंदादि उपसंहार दोस धर्मा शुड नॉट बी ब्रॉट इन इति प्रत्युदाहरण संगत्याय दमाह पूर्व पक्षी टेक्स अ काउंटर एग्जांपल टू उपसंहार सेइंग दट वेयर देयर इज अ सविशेष प्राण देयर दिस उपसंहार ऑफ गुणास फ्रॉम डिफरेंट शाखास इज पॉसिबल बट निर्विशेष ब्रह्म हैज नो सच पॉसिबिलिटी एट ऑल बिकॉज़ यू योर आकांक्षा इज ओनली एज टू व्हाट इज ब्रह्म and what is brahma has been defined in your shakha pramiti siddhi has taken place you don't have any akanksha there is no other guna possible as well there is no guna possible let alone other gunas so other dharmas are also not needed you already know brahma thereby anandadyadikarana has come up anandadev pradhanasya anandadev pradhanasya bhagavan sutrakara says anandadayah pradhanasya pradhana here is not the sankhya pradana that is gone long back here it is pradana means primary what is primary the mukhya which is brahma pradana is supreme brahma so brahmana pradhanasya anandadayah are what dharmas they are anandadaya dharmah bhavanti so they are defining attributes in another shakha defining attributes should be clubbed together your definition cannot be incomplete it may not be incomplete it may be complete in one shakha itself but if the other shakha is defining something else as in not everyone can understand how ananta can mean ananda or not a, everyone should understand there is no necessity of seeing ananda and ananta as one anantya leads to ananda can be one possibility which is valid limitlessness lead, needs to leads to ananda nobody can refute that let's say a person is searching for something that something he already has then he'll have sukha only if he finds something else other than himself then only there is a separation and dukkha due to separation if that all that is one he is not limit limited at all then it will lead to ananda or limitlessness itself can be seen as ananda both possibilities exist therefore there are different ways of understanding these dharmas they may or may not be seen as one they may or may not be one they may or may not be leading to oneness and in the difference in attributes also you can see a single adhikarana single meaning out of that there can be sambandha in such a manner that ananda swarupa ananda is ananta ananda so it, it is not अंतवत आनंद इट इज अनंत आनंद इट इज नॉट दैट आनंद विच इज गोइंग टू कम टू एन एंड इट इज नित्य आनंद लिमिटलेस आनंद दैट आल्सो कैन बी द मीनिंग देयर फॉर वेरियस आचार्यस हैव डेल्ट विद इन डिफरेंट मैनर इट इज अ डिफाइनिंग एट्रीब्यूट ऑलराइट बट व्हाई अ पर्टिकुलर डिफाइनिंग एट्रीब्यूट हैज बीन यूज्ड फॉर दैट वेरियस भाष्यस एंड व्याख्यास मे एक्सप्लेन इट वेरियसली for variety of objections or variety of your curiosity of variety of people not everyone has the same curiosity and not everyone can understand with little or a little more they may everyone has akanksha shanti only at a particular limit we do not know in fact they themselves do not know as to what kind of question would come up when one question is answered so how are the teachers व्याख्यानकारास टीकाकारास सपोज टू नो दे हैव डेल्ट विद देयर ओन क्वेश्चंस एंड द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स एंड पूर्व पक्षीज दे हैव आंसर्ड दोस बिकॉज़ इट फाइंड्स प्लेस इट इज हेल्पफुल फॉर अदर्स 
that is their perspective whether it is needed for me or not is not a question at all if i don't need it well and good it does not make them wrong so with this approach when you see various shakhas have also dealt with brahma definition in various manner whether they mean same or they lead to the same meaning is a later analysis but just by shabda being heard the shabda does not have a synonym exactly ananta and ananda are not equal in dictionary meaning they are to be dealt separately how they are explained to have a single meaning or leading to one leading to the other that's a follow on game but prima facie you see dharmas are different in different shakhas whether they should be clubbed together why should not they be clubbed together because it is a single brahma there is no other brahma siddhanti is saying that they should be clubbed together because they are defining attributes so if a person has an understanding as to whatever is limitless is brahma what is nitya is brahma that person will look at tarkika uh, tarka shastra and say that tarkikas are talking about many nityas there cannot be many nityas if there is nityatva in any of these padarthas all that has to be belonging to brahma they are all brahma they cannot be separate from brahma this is one who knows anantyam as the lakshana of brahma defining attribute of brahma dharma of brahma that person will conclude will he know that then tarkika is happy due to some reason or he explains sukha in a particular manner that sukha is atma sukha brahma sukha does he know that he may not know that so elsewhere ananda uh, chirananda brahma anandam brahma आनंदम ब्रह्मो विजानीयात सो इफ दैट आनंद ब्रह्म विजानीया दैट आनंद हैज बीन मेंशन आनंदो ब्रह्मेति विजानात सो देयर वन हु न्यू आनंद एज ब्रह्म इन द फ्रॉम दैट शाखा तैतिरीय शाखा दैट आनंद इज लक्षण सो व्हाटएवर इज सुख सुखा वेयर एवर यू सी सुखा दैट इज ऑल बट अब्रह्म मीनिंग इट इज डेफिनेटली ब्रह्म it cannot be anything but brahma it has to be brahma that is the lakshana how will one who does not know ananda as the defining attribute know that even if he is the upasana how can he do upasana without knowing ananda is brahma therefore you have to club them together this is the sutra artha de pradhanasya eva dharma ha pradhanasya brahmana eva ananda ananda deha dharma ha shakantar gata api dharma ha asya eva pradhanasya brahmana प्रकृत ब्रह्मण एव धर्म अत्र पूर्वपक्षे आनंदादि गुणा उपसंहार उपसंहारा ड्यू टू अनुपसंहार ड्यू टू नॉट क्लबिंग ऑफ दि गुणा सच एज आनंदादि इन अदर शाखा पूर्वपक्षी से वाक्यार्थ अनिर्धारण यू कैनॉट मेक कंप्लीट सेंस ऑफ दि वाक्या वेर लक्षण इज सत्यम ज्ञानमनमी ब्रह्म सिद्धांत तधारण फल वेद इन सिद्धांत इन वेदांत प्रॉपर देर इज एब्सुलूटली नो सच डाउट बिकॉज वाक्य ईक्या देर इज वाक्य ईक्या ऑल्सो विच विल कम अप लेटर विल सी सो देर फोर तधारण दिस वाक्यार्थ निर्धारण इज पॉसिबल एज टू अवांतर वाक्य ऑल्सो डिफाइनिंग एट्रीब्यूट कैन बी ब्रॉट टूगेदर एंड देर फोर This is the difference. Phala beda iti phala beda difference between pura pakshi's approach and the siddhanti's approach. Atra nirguna brahma parasu shrutishu ananda swarupatwa deha dharma ha kochit kochit shruyante. So in some places, in some shakhas, you see defining attributes of brahma. Ananda swarupa is brahma. Ananta swarupa is brahma elsewhere, etc. Nyana swarupa is brahma. Chaitanya swarupa is brahma. Sat is brahma. Chit is brahma. Sarvam khalvidam brahma. All these vakyas are there. So, what is this now? Swarupa, Swarupa Tva. This is what Swarupa. Lakshana is what Swarupam Sat Lakshanam Swarupa Lakshanam. Swarupa Tva is Swarupa Lakshana. You see Swarupa. How is the? What is the very Swarupa? What is the very definition of Brahma? What is the very nature of Brahma? Then it is what being Swarupa. It is also a definition. That is Swarupa Dharma or Swarupa Lakshana. and they are what anya vyavartaka dharmas also meaning they will separate brahma from non brahma species everything that is not brahma mithya brahma is separated out that is the definition but there is nothing to separate one brahma from the other because there is no second brahma therefore there is no anya brahma vyavarta 
व्यावर्तक धर्म इट इज ओनली अन्य पदार्थ व्यावर्तक धर्म ब्रह्म इज सेपरेटेड आउट फ्रॉम नॉन ब्रह्म एवरीथिंग एल्स दैट इज नॉट सत इज नॉट नित्य इज अ ब्रह्म दैट इज नॉट ब्रह्म सो क्वचित क्वचित श्रूयंते इट इज नॉट दैट इट इज स्प्रेड अक्रॉस दी शास्त्र दी डेफिनेशन आर नॉट देअर थ्रू एंड थ्रू दे आर देअर इन सम प्लेसेस इन सम शाखा ते कि सर्वत्र उपसंहर्तव्या उदने सन्देह वेदर दे शुड बी क्लब टूगेदर फॉर अ सिंगल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ब्रह्म एज अ सिंगल डेफिनेशन और नॉट वेन सच अ डाउट कम्स अप न उपसंहर्तव्या पूर्व पक्ष पूर्व पक्षी से नो दे शुड नॉट बी क्लब टूगेदर देर इज नो रीजन टू डू सो वाय बिकॉज निर्विशेषत् ब्रह्म ब्रह्म इज निर्गुण ब्रह्म सिद्धांति से सिद्धांतस्तु प्रधान से ब्रह्म दिस दिस प्रकृत ब्रह्म इज दि तात्पर्य विषय ऑफ ऑल वेदा वेर एवर इट इज डिफाइंड यू शुड ब्रिंग इट टूगेदर सो ब्रह्म प्रधान से ब्रह्म आनंदाद आनंदस्वरूपत्द धर्म सर्वत्र उपसंहर्तव्य दीज डिफाइनिंग एट्रिब्यूट शुड बी ब्रॉट फ्रॉम एवरी वेर टू हेव अ कंप्लीट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ब्रह्म बिकॉज इट इज युअर ओन स्वरूप यू के नॉट हेव नो आकांक्षा रिगार्डिंग युअर सेल्फ वॉट एम आय आय एम सच्चित आनंद आय एम सत्यम ज्ञानम अनंतम सो दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग शुड बी देर फॉर एज लॉन्ग एज दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज नॉट कंप्लीट वन हैज टू प्रोसीड बिकॉज इफ यू नो ओनली वन पार्ट देन यू मे लैंड इन टू समथिंग विच इज इनकम्प्लीट जस्ट लाइक दी भेदाभेदवादीन और एक देशी सिद्धांति एक देशी नॉट सिद्धांति एक देशी वेदांति बेटर टू से वेदांति एक देशी वेदांति और यू कैन से एक देशी सिद्धांति ऑल्सो इज नॉट परम सिद्धांति देर यू हैव टू डिफ्रेंशिएट एक देशी सिद्धांति एंड परम सिद्धांति प्रिफरेबली एक देशी वेदांति एंड सिद्धांति मेक्स द सेम डिफरेंस सो एक देशी सेज दैट दिस आनंद स्वरूप इज इज एक्सपीरियंशियल आनंद सो वॉट इज दि सुषुप्ति अवस्था आनंद which is actually a kosha anandame kosha that itself is considered as brahm you have seen that earlier in the first adhyaya first pada that has been refuted and if you look at the progress in the kata shaka also uh, not kata shaka kata shaka or taitiriya shaka also in taitiriya upanishad also you will see pancha kosha viveka so one considers the external anandamaya as atma then when the shruti says that oh wait there is something different different from this within more subtle more interior more near to you that is you really that is atma whereas the other is like a sheet like a clothing like a covering and therefore anandamaya when pranamaya is known anandamaya will become kosha and pranamaya will become ananda Uh, will become atma sorry so pranamaya will kosha is not kosha it is seen as atma if one stops there then one will have an incomplete understanding similarly with definition which may be partial one may have partial understanding one may get complete understanding also based on samskaras of the earlier study in earlier janma etc but it is better to put them together whether or not you understand you bring them together because if you are studying in another shakha you see dharmas which are defining attributes of brahma then you see them as your own dharmas your own swarupa therefore swarupa lakshana should be clubbed together from all shakhas atra purva pakshe anandaadi gunanam anupasamharat vakyartha anirdharanam siddhante tan nirdharano iti phala vidha atra nirguna brahma parasu shrutishu ananda swarupatvade dharma kwachit kwachit shruyante sorry we did all this te kim sarvatra upasamartavya उत न सन्देह न उपसंवर्तव्या पूर्व पक्ष एंड प्रधान से ब्रह्म आनंदाद आनंदस्वरूपत्द धर्म सर्वत्र उपसंवर्त एव्री वेर दे शुड बी क्लब टूगेदर सर्वशाखासु वायसो सर्वशाखासु वेद्य से ब्रह्म एक विद्यायाद्यर्थ बिकॉज दिस् ब्रह्म विद्या ईज रिगार्डिंग दि सेम ब्रह्म That Brahma is Vedya Brahma. The the Brahma that should be known, not Upasya Brahma. Upasya Brahma can be different. There can be different Upasana of Brahma. There also Upasamahara is better to be done. That's a different story. But Vedya Brahma, even before Upasana, you have to know what is Brahma. That Brahma which is revealed by the Shastra in various Shakhas is the same single Brahma. There is no other Brahma. 
देर फोर सर्वशाखा सु वेद्य से ब्रह्मण दैट ब्रह्म विच इज वेद्य नो एबल टू बी नोन विच इज वेदी तुम योग्य दैट विच इज फिट टू बी नोन ओनली पदार्थ विच इज फिट टू नोन ओनली एंटिटी विच इज रियली फिट टू बी नोन इज ब्रह्मात्मा नथिंग एल्स इज वर्दी ऑफ नोइंग एवरीथिंग इन द्वैत प्रपंच इज नॉट वर्दी ऑफ नोइंग भगवान भाष्यकर एल्सवेर से जात मात्र प्राणी नियतवात और समथिंग लाइक दैट वेद्यत्वात बिकॉज एवरीथिंग एल्स द द्वैत डिफरेंस इज ऑलरेडी नोन अभेद इज वॉट शुड बी नोन अद्वैत द्वैत इज नोन टू ईच एंड एवरी प्राणी वेन इट इज बॉर्न इट सेल्फ एवरी एनिमल और बर्ड ऑल्सो नोज दैट इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दी वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम दी फ्रॉम एनी वन हु विल हैव क्रिएटेड दिस वर्ल्ड इफ इट हैज दैट बुद्धि इट नोज दैट आई डेंट क्रिएट इट सो nanatva is seen by an animal or a bird also not only a human being as soon as it is born so dvaita shastra is not worthy of being taught advaita shastra is worthy of being taught and that is the only tatpare vishaya of the vedas for in that ausha it is pramana so sarva shaka so vedya brahma is single advitiya brahma ekatvena and because it is one vidya ya ekatva icharta the vidya brahma vidya is also one brahma vidya cannot be two Oh, I'll you belong to Swashaka. I'll give you some Brahma. Uh, I'll give you that Lakshana of Brahma, which is not known to others, and you alone will know. That is not the approach of the Shruti. Shruti treats every Shaka follower as the same. So Shruti is using some uh, dharmas for Sarupa in one particular Shaka. In another Shaka, it is using different. It it is not that it will not lead to complete Jnana. It can lead to complete Jnana also. But if you are studying the other. and you come across these dharmas you cannot say oh this is a different brahma otherwise you will have to say that if you say that satyam jnanam anantam is brahma in chaitre shaka and elsewhere you see oh sachidananda brahma then you say this chit brahma ananda brahma if you don't understand you cannot say it has to be different brahma it is the same brahma and since brahma is one brahmana ekatvena vidya yah ekatvam vidya also will become one they cannot have two different brahma vidyas all brahma vidyas across shakas Are the same Brahma Vidya. This is the uh, Sutra Vritti. We'll see more in the next part. Amna yante ke samsidha madhi madhyan tvarje tamanan dhanam apurna matme jyoti rupasme. Namaste. Dhanyavada. Dhanyavada. Namaste.